All right, guys, so we're gonna test uh, the new software and new keys for the BMW motorcycles using the DVD IQ2 Plus. Uh, this is the first time that we're doing it, so we, we don't know ourselves if it's gonna work or not. We assume it's gonna work. Uh, it's a 2019 GS F850. Okay, it has the 8A flip key. All right, we're gonna add the key this time and then we're gonna follow with uh, all keys lost later. But for now, we're gonna start with adding a key. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna take the new XM, XM BMW uh, motorcycle BMW keys and we're gonna generate it to the, to the correct key. So, play. okay, so first thing we're gonna generate okay. the key. We're gonna generate the key. Remote program, BMW motorcycle, all remotes, and then there are three different remotes 315, 433, 434. We need this option, okay, and we're gonna generate. Oh, yeah. Papa. Okay, complete. So the key is ready. I'm gonna cut it later after we do the job, okay? Okay. Okay, so first of all guys, I removed the I removed the battery from the working key. I removed the battery so it doesn't work keyless. Okay, the induction coil is underneath the seat. Okay, right over here, you see this is the induction coil. Okay, so if I place the key right over here, I'll be able to turn on the, the remote. I'll be able to turn on the motorcycle. The OBD, the car OBD, the bike OBD is in its place. We have to remove and place a, a battery stabilizer, 12 volts. Okay. Put a battery stabilizer and let's start with the job. Okay, so let's go into emo programming. Okay, so emo programming. BMW, select from system and BMW motorcycle key learning. Motorcycle key learning. Key functions. And first thing, we want to read the vehicle information. So I have to put the key. I removed the battery, so I put the key by the induction coil. I turn on the ignition. Uh, where do you turn on the ignition? That's a good, oh, here, right over here. Okay, so the ignition turned on. Mm -hmm. All right, the key was by the induction coil. And I'm gonna keep it. Hey, Al, come help us put it on the induction coil right over here, hold the key. Hold the key over there. Okay, and now let's go into read the key information. Okay, read key information. Basically telling us that if it's all keys lost, we need to do it in a different method. Let me go down here so there's no light. Okay, so basically if it's all keys lost, we need to connect differently. We'll go over that in a different uh, video. And now you can see, need to unlock, so it needs pre-process. Okay, you see it needs the pre-process. Uh, that means we need to unlock the unit. It means we need to unlock the unit, okay? Now let's detect the key information. Please turn on the ignition. The ignition is on. The key is in the induction coil. Insert the key into ignition switch or close to the emergency start position. We just did that. That's where the key is. Okay, this is key number one. The key is acceptable, yes. The frequency, okay, the key ID, different things, chip locked, it's locked. 
Okay, so now we have all this. And let's take a, pic a quick picture. Okay, I want to go back and also take a picture of the key information. Okay, and now we have to back up the coding. So let's back, go into the coding functions, turn on the ignition. Again, the key without the battery is in the induction coil. Backup coding. And this will save it. In a second, it will show us the path. Okay, so it goes into BMW, save here. Okay. And it saved the thing. Let me just make sure that it saved it really because I don't... Special functions, file management, local file, BMW, and here it is. Okay, so it saved it. It saved it, motor... Uh, Okay, key functions. Okay, so we backed up the coding, and now let's unlock the unit. Turn the ignition on. Again, there's no battery. Put it, if it's all keys lost, different connection. Okay. Checking device authorization, guys. This is a, a paid authorization. And now let's read, let's read the instructions one second. So, OBD operation instructions. There are certain risks to the process. Please read carefully before operation. The program function takes about three minutes. Do not touch any. Do not touch any button of the vehicle during the programming process. Okay, so make sure the customer doesn't touch and you don't touch anything. Uh, when programming, the vehicle must be provided with a stabilized power. Show the power. So power supply. Okay, power supply, 12 volts. Uh, if all keys are lost, it's necessary to step on the brake and turn on the double flash. If the programming is interrupted to the vehicle due to vehicle voltage or external reason, uh, try programming first. If the programming cannot continue, use the programmer to write normal flash before programming. So basically, if anything happens, you have to remove the unit and uh, write the flash back manually. So let's continue. Yes. Make sure your internet is also stable, not all, only the battery power. Okay, unlock complete. Now, basically, uh, we're gonna need to start the engine, okay? It's writing the coding. You see the coding that we backed up, it's writing it back. So now it has the uh, complete coding, the original coding back. Usually, don't forget, just like when you program FEM or BDC, before unlocking, we have to back up the coding. So now, basically, let's just read the key information one more time, okay? And now you can see that the unit is unlocked. Okay, before we continue, before we continue, I'm going to disconnect the unit. I'm going to disconnect and we're going to try to start the engine. Okay, so we have the new key and let's uh, continue the process. Connect the OBD and let's continue. So the key, again, the key is still in the induction coil. The, the key is still in the induction coil, okay? The original key without the battery, guys. Okay, and now let's go and go into, uh, let's take my new key. Let's read the key information, detect key information. Simitaroftech has put this key in the, the new key. Like that, let's do yes. Okay, and this key, you can see key number FF. It's a locked key, probably that key comes brand new. It's a keyless go key, 434. 
So this key, uh, whether this key is accepted, no, okay, because this key is not learned to the, to the car yet. Okay, so now let's go. Put back the original key, put back the original key, and let's go into add key. Okay, turn on the ignition, the ignition is on, the ignition is on. Again, if it's all keys lost, we need to uh, wire differently. Yes. All right, and now just like any other BMW uh, systems that we do, we have to select the key position, key number seven. Okay. Re please execute read security key first. So, okay. And let's go into read security key first. Turn on the ignition, smart key is lost. Yes. You need to be connected to a network to perform this function. Please get network un uh, basically stable. Continue, yes to continue. Please input XM38 motor remote into device coil. So right over here, the new key into device coil. Press yes. All right, so please take a photo. Let's take a photo of this. Okay. And let's press okay. And now let's go through add key. So add key. Yes. I like key number seven. Okay. Press yes to use device call to make dealer key. First choice input bind XM. Okay, so basically it's asking us press yes to learn the key through the through the device uh, coil and press no. Press no if it's uh, through the via, through the motorcycle uh, coil. So we're gonna press yes because we're gonna do it through the device uh, coil. So yes, matching seven keys to the emo system. Please put the new key into the programmer coil right over here. Okay, so yes. Okay, so key generation is okay, is good. Okay, try to start the vehicle. So let's press okay. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna shut off the ignition. Okay, I'm gonna remove the customer's key. Customer's key went uh, removed. Hold on to this. Okay, so we have the new key. Usually on BMW, we have to put first in the induction coil, the new key to see, to initialize in the induction coil. And let's start the vehicle. Let's put everything back. 